Hey everybody, um, in this video here I'm going to do a, a giveaway, it's going to be a subscriber appreciation giveaway. Um, I missed my milestone when I reached 300 subscribers and I apologize to all of you for that. Um, I wish I would have been thinking ahead and, and did something at that time. Anyways, I'm going to do something a little special for you guys. Uh, one of my other hobbies is besides metal detecting is scroll sawing. I haven't been on the, the scroll saw in quite some time, um, but it's another hobby that I do enjoy. It's a relaxing hobby. Um, I take a lot of uh, pride in my, my work that I do. Uh, I've knocked out a, a lot of different artwork and stuff um, over the years with it. Uh, this is what I use. This is the 18 inch DeWalt 788 scroll saw on the DeWalt stand. Um, when I started this hobby, I started off with a Craftsman. It was a 16 inch Craftsman. I used that for a couple years. Got the hang of how to use the saw and, and through trial and error. And, but uh, I ended up upgrading to this DeWalt 788. Man, it's a nice saw. Um, anyways, I'm going to custom make a uh, couple giveaway prizes for you guys and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one here this is the evolution of metal detecting male version and then also I'm going to make a couple of the I'm gonna make two of those and then I'll make two of the evolution of metal detecting female versions and if you would like to get in on this giveaway um, go ahead and leave a comment in this video down below and say evolution male detectorist if you want in on the male prize um, if you want to enter for the female version of the evolution of the, the detectorist just put uh, evolution female detectorist in the comments down below and um, to qualify for the drawing, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit the like button. Um, it's not necessary, but it helps. So if, if you guys can take time to just punch that like button, I'd appreciate that. But yeah, so if you guys want in, I'll put the directions down below in the description of this video again. Um, if you want in for the evolution of the male detectorist, just put evolution male detectorist. If you want in for the female version, put evolution female detectorist. And we'll do a drawing here in uh, about a week. So I got this one here all cut out now. This is the female version of the Evolution. Uh, I'll go ahead and get the tape and the stencil peeled off of here and we'll take a look and see how it turned out. Alright guys, as I'm pulling the tape off, it's starting to look pretty good. I think it turned out okay so far. I think it's going to be alright. So that's what it looks like after you get them cut out. The next step will be sand them down and prep them for painting. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next step.
All right guys, so there you have it. Uh, got this one here all cut out. I'll go ahead and get the tape removed and all right guys, and there you have it. This is the male version of the Evolution of Detectorist. And I did the stack cut just like I did on the other one, so I like that. That's kind of neat, huh? The silhouette of a silhouette. That looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, there you we have it. All right guys. There you go. Got one coat of flat black on these guys. After this dries, I'll hit them with another coat. This is one of the next steps. Uh, cutting the mirror. I like to put a mirror behind the, the silhouettes. Kind of makes it stand out a little better. Now the trick is trying to cut a straight line. That's the tricky part. I haven't had much success doing a perfectly straight line. Let's see if this works. one piece not perfectly straight but I think it'll pass All right, guys, this is going to be one of the next steps here. Uh, this is something I ordered a while back. This is uh, my dip kit. You can get them on mydipkit.com. What it is is it's a hydro hydro dip kitting, kit, uh, water transfer image kit. Uh, I've used this before in the past, and this is really some cool. This is some really cool stuff. This time I went with the like a digital camo. And I'm going to try something new on these plaques that I make. Let's see if I can't uh, put a little personal touch on it here. Hey guys, this is uh, one of the next steps that I do here. I got the, <clears throat> the figures, the, the figures all masked off to keep any overspray off of them, any paint. I'm going to keep those uh, flat black for my final results. So the next step is going to be go ahead, I got the base coat on here. Go ahead and paint these the colors that I need them. Which uh, two of these are going to be tan and the other two are going to be a pink uh, camo. So we'll have a tan camo and a pink camo and hopefully they turn out okay.
All right, guys, this is the part where I clean out the glue squeeze, all the overflow glue, toothpicking it like you would a coin. I think with the next one, I'm gonna try using a roller and get a nice, even, thin coat of glue. Maybe I'll prevent this squeeze out from happening. We'll go ahead and string it, clean it, and it'll be ready to start hanging.